to get through, but first of all, just how are you feeling after that? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what this club's doing to my heart, but uh, uh, listen, a lot of incidents, a lot to discuss. Um, my, my take on the game was first half was really poor. Uh, certainly first 30 minutes, I envisaged a much better performance, a much more aggressive front foot performance. You know, I came into the club with a prerequisite of being a pressing team and we didn't lay a glove on Rangers in the first half. Partly due to their quality and their ability to um, catch us in our soft spots uh, in terms of the formation. Obviously the quality of the individuals, the tactical, the rotations that they, they work to. Um, and, and it meant that too many players were on the back foot. I made the change, which nobody likes to do, but sometimes you've got to bite the bullet. Uh, two changes very early, which I think helped us at least have an organisational structure uh, to be able to, to go man for man, to get tight. There was even things wrong in that, which needed us to get to half time to have a biblical I mean, team talk to then get us going a little bit. And uh, I wanted the centre halves up on the halfway line. I wanted Ellie and Boyle pressing centre halves. I wanted midfielders like tight and men for men. And I think that's what the boys delivered in the second half. And I think that was what created the incidents. Obviously the goal, the equaliser, um, good pressure, good counter attack, fantastic goal with the same combination that we saw against Hearts. Um, obviously Lundstrom sending off, which is probably a yellow, it's probably a tactical foul in my eyes. But at the same time, I didn't think it was a penalty and I thought Bashiri should have had a penalty. I think if there's VAR, the, the penalty is 50-50. I think Bashiri is probably 85-15, the one he got dragged down in the first half. So look, we are where we are with that. I'm not um, digging out anybody in particular. I'm just saying there's a lot of incidents, but we created that by our pressure in the second half and what we tried to, to do and actually execute much better than we did in the first. Did you feel really hard fun by if you hadn't got that goal the end? Um, yeah, in one sense. Listen, I've played in games like that. It's difficult to break down. I could put a session on with four defenders, four midfielders and a goalkeeper, but eight in the middle of the goal, and 30 players trying to score, and if they're in the right positions at the right time, it's difficult to score. So they did it really well. We couldn't really open them up. Yes, we needed deliveries, a couple of opportunities, but, but probably not enough. Quality, a little bit more finesse needed in the final third. But then a numerical advantage is also really important. You know, you can't have too many players behind the ball and not have the numerical advantage in the dangerous areas, which is why I was so pleased with the goal, because at the start, Josh was trying to link play. We got the message on, listen, you need to be uh, further up the pitch, let the centre-halves, even Rocky, I wanted him to play it and get in the box to create that sort of chaos, if you like, in the middle of the goal. And obviously the knockdown, and then it's a, it's a fantastic finish from a player that I believe is growing in stature and, uh, and is a trustworthy player for us. That's three stoppage time goals in four games now. I mean, what does that say about your team? Listen, I'm not happy. If I'm honest with you, I'm not happy. I think we need to do more. Like, I, I think that I'm not going to sugarcoat like, where we are. We need, we need, what we've got is spirit. What we've got is fitness. Um, I think that we've had a really tough week with, with stuff that's gone on sort of behind the scenes, nothing negative, but like the Cabraja example, um, players being out, Porto had had an illness uh, uh, for three quarters of the week, Bashiri 50-50 where we're going to come back. So there was a lot of these little mini scenarios that needed to, to come right in the end, but it's no excuse, you know, I want to, I want to deliver to these fans high tempo, front foot, aggressive football. And in the first half we didn't, and in the second half we did. So what we need is a 96-minute complete performance, which I don't think we've seen enough of yet. Sometimes it's because we've had the new players in, like Boyle, for example, hasn't had a pre-season with us, doesn't quite know uh, the triggers of the press like everybody else does. Ellie Yuan still learning the level. Sometimes the tempo is a little bit high in terms of the mind for him, missing. Uh, situation developing, all these little things as what we've got. A, but we've picked up a point against obviously one of the old firm teams and we've done that by being aggressive. So if that's not proof of 
we need to play aggressively. I don't know what is. Raya looked to be pretty emotional at the end there on the pitch. I mean, how big an effort yeah. was that for him to play today? Amazing, amazing effort, amazing resilience, amazing character, amazing humour, if I'm honest with you. He pulled the lads, I don't know how he managed to speak in the dressing room after, but he pulled the lads um, to thank him, you feel me well enough now, um, to thank him for his family, with all the support he's had and stuff like that. So, uh, listen, th those situations I think bring you together uh, a bit closer as a Hibs family, if you like. What did you think of Ray? What's his send off? You got the idea when you pulled it? Um, to be honest, at the time I didn't see it. I've looked back at it um, on the just on the Sky Clips, if you know what I mean. And I think I think he has a little go on the second one. Like I think he sort of has a little feeler to see where he is on the first one. But I don't think it's a proper I'm going to break your nose elbow, if you know what I mean. I think it's more of a and let, <laughs> at my height I got a lot of elbows, and sometimes you're never quite sure whether or not it's a, it's a height thing, whether it's a, uh, whether he's meant it, only he knows whether he's actually meant it or not. Um, and again, I have no idea what VAR would give in that, in that scenario, in that situation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Yeah. Dealings. 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 Dealings.